What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm the Prodigy bringing you guys today, day 17 of Call of Duty month. Um, in this commentary, I'm going to be covering time management within a game of Call of Duty. And you guys are going to be like, what the hell is time management within Call of Duty? I ain't never heard of this, and not many people have. Um, it's going to be a new topic to you guys that I don't think many people really take into account on um, different sections of time in a game of Call of Duty. And you're going to be like, yeah, I know there's time in Call of Duty. There's a little counter going down in the bottom left-hand corner going 530, 529, 528. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about breaking games up into time segments that uh, will help you improve your game of Call of Duty. Um, and everybody's like, oh, tips and tricks video. Here comes Raw Instinct. <laughs> you can smell it. But, uh, no, I mean, I don't really care. Um, basically, what I do when I play Call of Duty is I like to split up my games into three different parts. You have your early game, your mid game, and your end game. And people will be like, all right, I'm listening. What's going on? And basically, early game is the first two minutes of the game for me. Basically, all I do is I like to run around, sprint around, and you guys will notice in my gameplay that a lot of uh, my deaths do come within the early game um, time segments because all I'm doing is running around trying to get a feel for where people are going, um, how people are playing the game, how people are playing the map, and on terminal I'll give you a very very good example. A lot of people are going to run for the cockpit of the plane, a lot of people are going to run for the top of the air conditioning unit, and a lot of people are going to run behind that little planner on C flag. That's where they like to go. All right, and I know this, but I want to know who's going there, how many people are going there, and that's what that early game um, rush, that early game um, sprint out crazy tactics allow me to know. So a lot of my deaths come early in my game, and as I figure out what people are doing, I start to transform into my mid game. When I get to my mid game, I start strategizing, start picking out routes that will help me get around into a good flanking position that will enable me to get an easy kill or um, enable me to get into a certain clipping spot that this guy is going to run through this door and I'm going to be able to get a quick kill and then I can move on to the next guy who's going to be patrolling, camping, sitting in area, take your pick. Um, once that, once I know all the routes, and the routes are going to get a lot easier as you play the game. Of course, in the new game, you're not going to know every single secret route. A lot of you guys aren't going to know every single possible way to get to a certain location. And trust me, guys, there is a lot. Like, um, take C-Town, for example. A lot of people like to post up in that middle building. And you guys are going, yeah, you can climb up stairways. You can climb up the ladder. You can climb up the window. Right, but how are you guys going to know what people like to do to cover all three of those spots? Yeah, you can have your people camping in the corner watching each door. You can have your people on your walkway covering, making sure that you don't go in the bottom door up the stairway. And you have people camping the ladder. I had it done to me all the time. Now, how do you break a scenario like that? I mean, you can run all the way underneath the archway and get up through Silo and get all the way behind him. You can run all the way through that back sniper building and try and get behind him. There's several ways that you can try and break a very good formation like that. Now, I shouldn't say very good formation. It's a strong formation. It's a very cheap formation, but it's a formation nonetheless that you're going to have to learn to adapt and break. Just a lot of people sometimes don't have the patience to run, run all the way around the map just in order to try and get behind somebody. But, you know, it's what happens. And then in an end game is just me putting it all together. Basically, it's just me going, okay, now I'm really starting to try and sound whore. Now I'm really paying attention to where my teammates are spread out on the map. And it's just uh, me playing the game now. And as you can tell, I did not manage my time very well in this game. I get 64 tags, I get my Moab, and then I stab the guy for the last kill. Oh, it was terrible. I was so upset. Not really. It was actually a very good gameplay, nonetheless. But I had fun playing it. I was having a bunch of laughs because in the in the lobby, they're like, oh, how close are you? How close are you? And I was like, I don't know. I'm like three or four away. Dude, we have 63 tags. And I was like, what? I had no idea how late into the game I actually was. But um, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Prodigy. And before I go, I just want to let you know that the top video is going to be my latest video that I just posted. So if it doesn't look familiar, go check out my videos. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the bottom one yet, but I'll figure it out. I'm the Prodigy, guys. Love you, heart you. Bye.